Hey everybody, Jonesy G here, and we're continuing with our game of Twilight Princess. I decided to start us way back here. Because that's where it, it pretty much started me. So let's begin, shall we? We've already talked to everybody, so now we gotta finish our chores. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, James. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Peggy herd him into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time. Do you think you can do it for me? Yeah, sure. Much to oblige there, bud. Okay, then. So go on and herd these little scamps into the barn for me. Okay, so in the beginning of the game, you only have ten. It should be very easy considering you only have ten. Much later in the game, though, You're going to end up with 20. And it will be timed. I'm not worried about the time right now because I don't have to. Although these goats are making me look stupid. They love doing that. So you just take a general run around and see where the goat is. This one wants to go all over the area. So you just gently whoop them in. James, Peggy, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Wanna practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them all set up. I do not live in the South. Therefore, my accent is terrible. Oh, sorry that took so long. Okay, then, y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate and herd. Head back to the village, okay, bud? We're going back to the village. Yeah. 
Yes, we do. I decided to delete the other ones to give good old James here a fair shake. Wake up, James. It's morning already. And this is our house. We pretty much have the money we need, so I'm not worried too much about the money. We can't go into the basement yet, even though there's a ladder. But I wanted to show you the house. There's going to be something right here where I'm standing in a few minutes. So let's go out and see what's going on. I am going to collect a little bit more money. But not like I did in the previous episode, because as you can see, we went a little ham. There it is. If you watched the previous episode, you wonder, you saw that I was wondering why I wasn't getting the money that I thought I should from that rock. Well, the rock gave me what I needed today. Hi, James. You have the day off from work today, right? So, I finished the finish, the fishing rod I was making. James, I figured I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but... My dad said you just have to wait until James comes to get it. So, I didn't bring it to you. It's also the first day off in a while for Peggy, too, right? She must be happy. James, my mom has the fishing rod I made for you. Aw, I wish I had brought it with me. I can relate to Colin. I was a Colin. Very shy, very reserved taken me a long time to get to this point. Oh, James, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I... I need it. I must try it. Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly... Just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it so badly, save it up. Save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I just wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. So that's our cue to see what's going on in town.
Well, hey, morning, James. Got the day off from work today, my boy. Not me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day we gotta restock the store. Look, see that? Up in the tree? You can get a better view by using the buttons to look around. Just by the way. Yeah, some more dawn bees built themselves a fine nest up there. And I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. So let's go talk to the wife. Young James, welcome, my dear. You, you didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night, and then I gave him a good scolding, but then he went out and hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry for him. <sighs> I've exhausted myself. I'm terribly sorry, but my mind is so filled with thoughts of my little cat. I simply can't deal with customers right now. If I had known this was going to happen, I would have just let my little kitty eat fish to his heart's content. James, my dear, I'm sorry, but would you leave me be? I'll serve you milk later. All right, so we got to help this store owner. We're going to collect some of the money that's around here. Because they left extra money around in various different places. And you can never have too much money. Like I said, these things respawn. The main things we're going to focus on are the slingshot and something else we're getting later.
Hi, James. Welcome. If you're looking for my hubby, he took a break from working and went outside. I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking a nap somewhere. He's in the middle of making a shield for Colin's dad, Russell, right now at the moment. See it right over there? Though it looks far from being done. Now you two, remember that. We're going to need that shield later. Sorry you came all this way to find about and about. James, my boys Mallow and Tallow aren't giving you headaches, are they? If they are, feel free to scold them anytime you like. I am going to talk to everybody, I just... Wanted to get this. 202. That is good enough. Morning, James. Sounds like Fado's handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone... This happens. Ah, Fado did it again. These goats have been awful skittish lately. You always got to be on your toes. Sorry about that, James, but thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. No hard feelings, huh, goat? to you. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left early in the morning. But I must ask, James, you have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It's a, a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Hmm, such a misfortune. How far could it have traveled, I wondered.
Huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't realize it was you, James. I was thinking maybe I could knock it down by throwing rocks at it. But of course, it's so high up, it makes it pretty hard to do. Believe it or not, this is important for oh, important for later. They don't hold back with a stinging, do they? I guess rocks won't work. How would you try to knock it down, James? Can't you think of anything at all? This is important for later, believe it or not. This is the obligatory introduction to Z-targeting. Hey, there you go, over here. Yeah, your ca voice carries well, as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you gotta press A while L-targeting or Z-targeting. To talk to people from a distance. They don't seem to get it. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, James? So we gotta climb up the vines. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with a Greek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? A cat can't catch no fish. Yeah, they can. But this guy doesn't seem to think that they can. Anyway, that's not what I was trying to tell you. I wanted you to take a look at something. See the grass? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. Could you hop across and blow it for me? Well, it wasn't exactly what he said, but we get the general idea. We're actually going to go over here. And there's the cradle.
Call me crazy, but I could listen to that grass whistle all day long. So anyway, I guess I'll get back to my lounging. Which ties into, I saw all that. Using a hawk. That's brilliant. Let's bring the cradle back. Now, most people would just run ahead of her. But I like watching her walk. 